Hello! It's me. The disc is just good. I've got another Advanced Wars by Web replay. It's P0.32451 versus E13691246. Uh, P032451 is playing as Drake. E13691246 is playing as Adder. Map is Caustic Finale. Caustic Finale is really interesting. Makes base map uh, with tons and tons of bases. Uh, and it's mirrored in this really interesting way along the uh, northeast southwest line uh, with a odd number of tiles on each side. Uh, it's, it's really strange, really cool. Uh, I've played a game on this map before that did not go well because I made a tremendous mistake of not building. Or I just miscalculated the amount of funds they had on this map. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing the way that an actual map uh, unfolds here. So, let's get started. These first few turns feel a little bit uh, obligate. I wonder if people ever make different plays than the ones that are like that, that lead here. I mean, you could you could start capturing properties right off the bat if you thought that that was good. Yeah, that's that's fine. Okay, so it's it's hard to keep track of the way that this map works. So this is a, a somewhat substantial difference, I th think. This, no, this is kind of enabled by the uh, first turn advantage counter over here. That so uh, P zero three two four five one's first infantry has to go towards the base, as does E one three six nine two one two four six, but the second. This infantry gets to be one turn ahead. Or no. How does this work? Yeah, this is one turn ahead. It's still mostly mirrored. This this is a mirrored formation. Reality. It's just, it looks a little strange. Yeah, this is all mirrored so far. It's all mirrored still. Okay, so this is a pretty substantial, uh, this is a, a big decision that uh, E13691246 just made here. Uh, to not finish camping the city and instead go for the comm tower, it means that he's looking to fight. Uh, P0.32451 does not make this decision. He, uh, P032451 thinks that the money that this tower is going to provide over the course of like two turns now is going to be more valuable. Maybe three turns. Because it's one and two and then three to cap and then the next turn it gives money. I suppose that he could not cap this but that would be really silly at this point. So that's the only way that it's not mirrored I think. Yeah, these these five are mirrored. No, it's not the only way. Maybe. So here's the first tank. That's a big deal. This is looking a little bit different than what's going on. Man, this music is just 
<laughs> the only thing I can hear is Colossus. Okay, so um is this no. This would it would be built from this base of his mirror. So they're going to fight over this this top area. That's what it looks like. Uh, with these two tanks being on the side of the map. I suppose they could fight over this area in the center as well, but it seems less likely to me somehow. Okay, that is going to happen. I suppose you can still move it back. It's rough that this tank cannot move into this forest. E1369-1246, this tank is headed south. That's actually kind of interesting, because this tank, the P0.32451 built, is not going to be able to chase it down effectively at all. Like, that's just not going to happen. So, he's going to have to build a tank here, probably. If he wants to contest this, but as we already saw ahead in the replay, oh wait, yeah, 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 E1369, 1246 does build a t another tank here, so that's really going to kind of pincer this tank, this tank is going to have to probably move back towards this right side if it wants to start like being effectual, and it can, it can do that this turn basically, it can, it can hit here pretty safely. I suppose there's a chance of it getting chance of it getting blocked, so it's probably not worth it. I'm glad that I checked that. That these these three infantry could wrap around it and lock it in there, and then uh E1369-1246 could build like an artillery or a tank here. And then uh fight the, the tank with its preferred terrain. Uh, so Something to think about that wouldn't wouldn't be good necessarily. I suppose that no, um, the P zero point three two four five one can't stop the block either. This, this infantry doesn't be far enough. He could, but he'd have to go with the cap. Not worth it. So let's see what happens. Property's captured first. These two infantry go on the capping one. That's sensible. Uh, that's kind of unfortunate for. Well, I don't know. Maybe it won't really matter. These are these two are in an unfortunate circumstance now because this one can't retreat as far as it would like to. It would like to go here, and then this one would like to be able to. They'd like to swap places, but they can't. So that's kind of an issue. But it'll be okay. It can sit in the forest just fine. Oh, okay, so this tank actually can't move that far forward. This is a relatively safe place. I'd have to think that he's gonna build a tank out of this northern base. Can, will he? An artillery, that makes sense. Yeah, this artillery can either stop this city from being taken or it can move towards the center and try to make something happen about these two tanks, which are kind of pesky. This tank down here is going to be able to support these infantry in the center. This infantry is a little bit worrying. I don't like its positioning. If, if I'm P0.32451, I don't like its positioning. Okay, 
guys there. E1369124 six thinks that can that he's at least willing to expend this infantry to get something out of this cap starting. Hmm. I'm really curious, how much damage would this have done? I didn't think that it was worth killing the 6 HP infantry. I suppose it would be kind of like a repeat situation with this infantry. That is, that's curious. I, I really do wonder what the the best thing to do here would be. Maybe these have such low... This is, I guess, the other thing to consider. So it's the six HP one can't quite kill. It's it's relatively safe from counterattacks, I guess is the thing. It's hard to counterattack this effectively. Okay, so P0.32451 is using this artillery to stop the cap on this uh, city in the other corner. Ooh, that's so smart. That's so smart. I like this place so much. So, P0.32451 clears out the infantry that was trying to cap this city, and it was, it was here to... I think bait a response from uh, P I think that one three uh, E one three six nine one two four six had it here so that he could move the tank back into this location and he could kind of pincer whatever defense defensive formation was was around it with a tank back here and the tank that he's got here. But because this tank is actually close enough to move right into the city, that is what. 0.32451 does so this is super super solid um, just drives that tank right past the other uh, it can sit in that city just fine as long as this city remains neutral it's not helping e1369 1246 these th this is a neutral city and this is a neutral city on this map those two are the the one are the well I guess these ones are also kind of like ready to be fought over. These these four are the the most fertile for fighting over. But these two I think are the the two real hot spots. Okay, so this full HP infantry that P zero point three two four five one has in this uh southeast corner is just going to try to make this cap and I I can't imagine that that e one three six nine one two four six will try to stop it what did what got built this tank and this artillery so this artillery will serve the same function as this one up here this tank I think these three tanks are probably going to try to collapse on the, the comm tower area. I would think that's what is going to happen. Either that or they're going to... F or they're going to force this city to to go to P032451. Okay, so, yeah. E1369 1246 is able to stop this southeast city from being taken. <clears throat> Not willing to block with this 1 HP 
Or maybe he doesn't have to. No, he does have to. He would have to if he wanted to. Good sign guaranteed. So. I'll just heal it up. Healing up an infantry isn't as big of a deal. It's really cheap to do. So, E1361246 moves the tank up to the northern part of the map, try to threaten the artillery that is presently stopping the city from being taken. Uh, is going to sacrifice an infantry to try to protect that neutral city. So it's a, it's a similar play that uh, P032451 is doing to this one in the center of the map, but it's in the corner. Okay, before I move on in this turn, thinking about this a little bit. So, this is not... Okay, so I I assume that the 4 HP infantry is going to be enough to kill the 2 HP one in the city. Yes, barely. So, But that's, that's significant. So, he can clear this out of the city. Then he can move this... Yeah, he can move this full HP infantry to the space behind the artillery here to its right. And then he can move this 6 HP infantry down here. And it's not going to be... Uh, there's not going to be a way to... Okay, so this might kill... You can move the 6 HP infantry here, move the 6 HP infantry behind it, and then there's no way for uh, E1369124 to hit the artillery with the tank. He's going to have to back this tank off. This is, this looks threatening, but in reality I don't think there's a whole lot, I don't think that the artillery is in any danger. It's nice that he gets to kill the... If he didn't, if he wasn't able to kill this as well, then it would, it would be a little bit scarier. But feels really good for uh, you want for P zero three two four five one, and it feels bad for you want three six nine one two four six. Wow, this is a, this is a fantastic pot for this artillery to be in. This is not what you uh, want three nine. One two four six wants to see. One three six nine one two four six. Yes, so that's that's what happens. The average is four HP infantry is even safe from auto attacks because of the move order. This is what I didn't see, is that he can move the four HP infantry to the right side of the, the one in the city. And now, the 4 HP infantry is safe this turn, the artillery is safe this turn, this tank is going to have to slink back, uh, defeated. Two infantry getting built. Tank. It's three infantry, two tanks. Yes. How many tanks are on the board? Five, five, ten. Five a piece. So U one three six nine one two four six does cap this property at least, so he's keeping the difference between the two marginal goes back for this uh, southern contested property. It's taking a defensive position around both the property and most of the this area where the um, where the comm tower is. I this is no okay so.
it's a little rough. He would get a shot on, if this tank drove up to hit the comm tower infantry, first off it wouldn't kill. He doesn't have any backup right now. But only it's only this tank that would be able to really like come to the city and fight it. Which isn't good. It's not good, but... It would be nice if both of these tanks could threaten the tank. If it did that, if this one could move into this woods, it would be really good. This is a big threat, but uh, obviously P0.32451 is going to be able to stop it. I don't quite understand why he's forcing this response. He knows that he won't be able to get this. And this tank that he's just built. He just moved a tank south so that it, it's not able to respond to this. And then he's got this tank with limited responses to this. And this tank that he just built has no response to it, really. And only the, the most... This is the one that he just built, I think. This is the one that he had. Where was it? So the, yeah, this was the one that he just built. This is the one that he moved. So, seems a little strange to me, but maybe we'll see what what happens. So indeed, this infantry that E one three six nine one two four six had trying to force a response. It forced a tank to respond, which is something. But that tank was just built, and it wasn't able to attack anything else. And I think that it's completely safe. Yeah, it's completely safe from counterattacks, unless you count this infantry, which I don't. And on the uh, south center contested property, there's a really similar situation going on. This is kind of funny because I think these are these aren't quite mirrored, but they're. In this instance, they are. Not another tank being built. Got about a million tanks protecting this property. Backing off this uh, comm tower. Less pressure on that now. But the, the tanks in this area... It's four, four to three, kind of. This is a really good spot for E1369, 1246's tank. Even though he hasn't moved this, really. Um, he hasn't moved this yet. I hope he doesn't. Okay, so yeah, he's not going to. Um, this is able to threaten both fronts pretty well. It's not quite able to get down in here. This is a really well-placed forest. Uh, props to the map maker for, for this forest. Uh, the fact that he's able to threaten this artillery and all these infantry, sort of, to a lesser degree. And then all... Uh, He's able to stop any kind of aggression at the bottom part of the map. This is a really, really strong place for this tank to be. This is where E1369-1246 is weakest, so I'm curious to see what he'll build in, in this area. He is, he's going in. I don't know about that. Okay, well, I don't I don't know about that attack. I suppose I 
I suppose otherwise, he felt that E1369, 1246 thought that if he didn't start attacking this group, that P0.32451 was just going to move forward with this infantry and be able to protect this infantry enough with these four tanks, five tanks, that it wouldn't have been possible for, for him to stop the cap. That's how it appears to me. Wow, where did this where did this infantry come from exactly? So he had this infantry behind this mountain, sneaking up from making this camp. I'm pretty sure. He puts it on this mountain here eventually. He's going to be able to move this forward in a way that he's going. It warranted him. This took like a lot of patience. I will, I would. I'll go back and look at this later. This the the movement path to this infantry at turn eleven from turn eleven. Because he's going to be able to move forward with this group and then kind of protect. Okay, so he, he can move forward with this tank, and that's kind of all he needs. This tank is also protecting this infantry to some extent. Feels really bad to hit this infantry off of this, this city now. Yeah, it, it feels like. E1369, 1246 is now just being forced to take worse and worse engagements each time. It didn't start off this bad. Like, this isn't like a threat to, to P032451. He's gonna be able to stop this, no problem. And E1369, 1246 has already given up this city. Yeah, it maybe it's not over, but it feels like it's over for E one three six nine one two four six. He's fortifying his HQ with this artillery, I guess. Maybe he, maybe he smells it. Yeah, when P0.32451 is making attacks like this from the road onto the, the harbor, the tank on the harbor, that's, that's pretty clear that he, that he feels comfortable that he can just win. He's got Sidewinder, but can he actually do anything with it? This would be kind of decent. This this infantry gets a lot of move. Actually, yeah, this is this is maybe a decent time where he's gonna be able to attack this. If this is what he chooses to do, he'll be able to attack the uh, artillery with a tank. This is at least a really good turn for E1369, 1246.
He is schmoovin'. Yeah, so he's he's made up the unit deficit and the by the end of the turn he's made up the, the cost deficit more or less. I know I can't calculate the who's ahead unless it's like really really obvious, just because I'm so bad at taking in the the turn of actions and the turn of production into account. Ah, but this is this will do it. This uh, superpower from. The, the tsunami. The tsunami hits and it just. It destroys. Uh, E1369124 is uh, net worth. You can see it go from 75,000. Or 70, 75 mon. <laughs> this is 75,000. To 57. 57 mon. That's rough. Two damage to everything on the board. Brain. Brain doesn't affect that. It only affects like fog or things, so this is not. Doesn't do anything really. The 2 HP inventory on the road blowing up the 1 HP tank on the force. That hurts. How many tanks? Ten tanks. There's just so many tanks. This is just... I suppose it's because there's no airports on the map. Tanks become that much better. It's also really open, so it's, it's hard to protect artillery. But there's it's not like there's a shortage of artillery either. He just resigns. Yeah, uh, man, that super power turn for E1369, 1246 looked really good, but man. That, it doesn't look close. It felt close, but it, it's just small plays from P0.32451 that added up. Uh,. Really cool replay. Uh, Caustic Finale is still in the uh, standard pool. That's why I did this replay. I'm trying to go through all of the uh, maths in standard rotation to have at least one video out for all of them. Uh, I'm also trying to get um, some various skill brackets. I'm, I'm focusing on higher skill, obviously, but I am trying to get like some just some interesting looking matches. I want to do some Z games as well. Do some match analysis on non-standard maps, but this is the priority right now. Um, big shoutouts to Uncharted, Jake's Fortune, who helped me with the map that I was designing and um, commented about uh, some of the stuff that I got uh, that I didn't understand or missed in the replay between him and Jack's Raptor. Uh, been really helpful. So uh, big shoutouts to that guy. Big shoutouts to Walker Bow, keeping the site running. Um, explain some mechanics about the game to me as well. Very helpful. Um, I've got some matches lined up between Jax Raptor, uh, since it was fun to watch. Uh, Slame, who I intended to watch, but uh, the replay was too short, so I got Slame lined up. Uh, more Nobody Good. Uh, I've always really enjoyed watching Nobody Good, so I'm going to keep doing that. And then um, some other uh, high profile players. I really wanted to get. Uh, P0.32451 in, and when I saw that his opponent was E1369126, I just couldn't resist it. It's a really high level game. Uh, really cool to see uh, uh, the slugfest that it was on Caustic Finale, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video.